So day 13, Burgos to Hornillos. It's only 20 kilometers today, which is gonna come as a great relief. Sun's gonna be out, got the sun cream on already. Didn't get too much time to have a look around Burgos last night because again, feet were absolutely killing. But it's a really cool city uh, from what it seems. And I'm kind of grumpy already this morning because I just drew some money out from the cash point and they charged me seven euros for, for a withdrawal. Anyway, let's uh, see how today pans out. So about a quarter of the way into this morning's walk to Hornillos and the first quarter has been through the streets of Burgos, very much a city, people going to work, the sun was starting to get hot and uh, suddenly we've now hit these big green open fields and it's shrouded in a very dense mist or fog and uh, it's a really pretty sight and again lots of different birds and things chirping away in the background but I was starting to worry that I was getting too warm and I was going to have to take my coat off and that out on this open route there'd be no shade or protection from the sun and now it's quite chilly and uh, yeah, shrouded in this dense mist malarkey. So we're over halfway through now on the way to Hornillos. Just stopped off for a coffee and a Coke Zero and also the one euro baguette is also back. So that should carve me up nicely for the rest of the way. So that's day 13 over and done with. We walked from Burgos to Hornillos, 21.8 kilometers. It took four hours and 20 minutes. And dare I say it, I actually enjoyed today. It was hard going still, but nothing in comparison to yesterday's horror show where it was just totally miserable. We passed through some really pretty villages, really interesting like weather beaten architecture. And I just had a great meal in the hostel. So all in all, feeling pretty positive going into tomorrow where we've got another 20 kilometers to cover. So day 14 on Camino, walking from Hornillos to Castro Gerias. Weather's shaping up to be another sunny day, thankfully, after the last few days before yesterday when it was just horrendous. Another not so great night's sleep in a hostel. I don't want to sound like I'm moaning all the time about the hostel experience, but for some reason, people like to get up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. And I get that at the height of summer where you want to get out and get to your next destination before the heat of the sun sets in. But this is still the end of April. It's still chilly out now in the morning. It's even chillier at 5 a.m. and it's pitch black. And it was like a comedy sketch last night or this morning where someone was trying to make as little disruption as possible but ended up causing the most. This dude had a torch, like a proper big flashlight. He was trying to shine it on his bag. It was like illuminating the whole room and shining it in the faces of people that were trying to sleep. It was ridiculous. Anyway, 20 kilometers today and uh, setting out pretty early now. It's only about quarter to eight. Gorgeous sunrise. 
looking forward to it and the road seems really flat ahead too which makes a big difference on the feet so yeah feeling pretty positive about today So just to reach the halfway point for today's walk, it's taken about two hours, which is pretty good going. The road's so flat now. In terms of landscape, it's all been just flat roads, green grass and blue cloudless skies with the odd wind turbine around. Just stopped off in a little village called Hontanas, which is actually really pretty. It's got lots of cafes and things, well worth a look. And it's also got a public swimming pool. It wasn't open today, but I'd imagine if you're walking in the hotter months, It'd be a really nice place to cool off from the afternoon sun. Talking of the afternoon sun, it's just starting to get warm now. The coat is off and uh, yeah, going to crack on with the, the next 10k ahead. So we're just on the approach into Castro Jerry's now. On the way, we passed a really cool old ruined crumbled down monastery slash convent and it looked like something out of Lord of the Rings. And then as you turn the corner, you see this Castro Jerez town in the distance. And uh, there's like a castle atop a hill and what looks like a really medieval village. So very much looking forward to finding our accommodation, having a shower and uh, having an explore. So day 14 over and done with, took just under four hours to get to Castro Jerez today. And that was another 20 kilometers. Really pleased that we stopped off here because I know I say this about all of the little villages and towns that we've visited. It's actually really cool to have a walk around this place. There's a castle atop the hill and Alex and I are probably gluttons for punishment because we just walked all the way up there after dinner. But the view was incredible, really, really was. So yeah, very happy to have visited this place and uh, well recommend it. As always, thank you again for watching. Feel free to drop any Camino questions that you have into the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them for you as soon as I can. And do hit that subscribe button because it really does motivate me into editing the next video.